Fun fact, all boilers and water heaters heat water, but boilers aren't water heaters and water heaters aren't boilers. Eh? I know, right? So what's a boiler? A boiler heats your home with scalding hot water. Um, how do you heat the air with water? Steam. What, like at the K-Spa? I actually prefer the Himalayan salt room. Residential boilers heat water inside a pressurized storage tank, fueled by gas, electricity, or oil. The water remains boiling at any given time, and a pump pushes the hot water through the pipes that are looping around your house, supplying the radiators that steam heat your home. That's why they call it a boiler! It's not an ironic name. So, what's a water heater? It heats your water. But a boiler heats your water. Well, a water heater heats your water for bathing, washing, and consuming. Eh? A water heater has a sealed, pressurized tank that heats water with a gas flame, electric coils, or a heat exchanger. Cold water enters through the bottom of the tank and rises to the top as it gets hotter, eventually exiting via an outlet pipe. The hot water travels through pipes to household fixtures such as showers and sink faucets, supplying hot water to the tap as well as some appliances. See the difference? Yeah. Uh, can you repeat the middle part? The primary difference between a boiler and a water heater is their purpose. Boilers produce hot water for central heating systems. Water heaters produce hot water for domestic uses, such as washing hands, showering, and washing dishes. So it's really a distinction without a difference. No, I think you just wanted to say that phrase to sound smart. So is water from the water heater safe to drink? Yeah, water heater water is potable. Yeah, can you drink it? That's what potable means. Oh, well then is water from the boiler potable? No, but it wouldn't really come up because it remains in a closed piping loop and never comes out of a faucet. It would also be dangerously hot. Boiler water can get up to 180 degrees, whereas water heater water is about 120 degrees. So if I have a boiler, I still have to have a water heater? Generally speaking, yes, but it's more likely than not you have a water heater to heat your water and a furnace to heat your home's ambient air. Why's that? Because most homes in the U.S. are heated by a furnace, and the majority of homes that are heated by boilers are in the Northeast. I don't even know which direction we're facing. Forget it. Just remember that whether it's a water heater or a boiler, you need to be flushing it regularly once a year to ensure an effective, efficient, and enduring heating system for your home and water. I get it. That thing you said earlier about how all boilers are water heaters and all water heaters aren't boilers. I get it. What's that look? I get it. It's very clever. It's no fun if I have to explain no, it. No, it's funny because it makes you think. 